Welcome to the Encounters Podcast, brought to you by Mercy Culture Worship. My name is Jasmine Wheeler, and I'm so glad you're here and ready to encounter God with us. Our vision is to take people from corporate encounters with God to daily personal encounters with God. So we're inviting you into our corporate encounter, hoping that it leads you deeper into your daily personal encounter. So we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. We don't make room for you in our car, in our room, wherever it is that we are right now. We don't make room for you. We give you the entire room. So speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. Good morning, Mercy Culture. You guys ready to worship the Lord this morning? Come on, the aisles are open, altars are open. Come and find a space for you and Jesus this morning. Just lift your hands right now. Well, Jesus, we invite you in your own words. Come on, just begin to welcome him in the room. Jesus, we invite you in the room right now. Come and move, Lord. Come on, use your words this morning. Welcome the King of glory. Welcome the King of glory in the room. Welcome the King of majesty in the room. Come and have your way. Come and have your way. Come, 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 Holy Spirit. Come on, engage with Him right now. Come and engage with Him right now. Jesus, we welcome you. Come on, every voice in the room. Come on, welcome Holy Spirit here. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. We welcome you. you. Come on, let them hear your voice this morning. Let them hear your heart this morning. We've come to meet with you.
Shut up. 
morning, hello King Madam Naira Fanisi. Hello King Madam Naira Fanisi. Hello King Madam Naira Fanisi. Should I? Should I? Hello King Madam Naira Fanisi. Hello King Madam Naira Fanisi. Hello King Madam Naira Fanisi. Should I?
everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, my God. You reign forever, the wonderful Counselor, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the mighty God. You reign, come on, let's sing it over Israel this morning. Wonderful Counselor, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the mighty God. You reign forever, the wonderful Counselor, the everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, the mighty God. Now let's declare it in this room.
turn our gaze upon you. We're not here to sing you a pretty song.
just felt compelled this morning to invite all of the men down to the altar just to lead this moment of worship. I just want to invite all the men just to make your way out of the seat, out of the, bank, uh, out of the balcony, and come all the way down. I was impacted this morning by watching three men lead us into intimacy and worship. I honestly don't remember the last time it's been three men leading. We empower women in this house. I don't really think much of it. There's men leading up front behind the scenes and we're confident enough to do so. And then as I was worshiping to these intimate songs, I was reminded we're on a, I'm on a 40 day fast right now. And uh, I felt like I was supposed to invite all of the men to whoever wants to, whenever they want to, every morning at 8 a.m., come and meet us here. We meet under this awning. We walk around this building. We meet in the sanctuary. We have communion together. We pray. And one of the prophetic words was guerrilla based warfare. That there are these be sporadic moments of prayer. And I just felt significantly that the men were supposed to come and not only lead in prayer for 40 days, but lead in worship this morning. So all the men, would you close your eyes as tight as you can and we lift them to heaven. Come on, begin to play again. And we're just gonna sing this majesty. We're gonna declare the one who we serve, the one who we love. So just for a few moments with all of your heart, come on, lift your voices, men, and lead your wives. Lead your children. Lead this community. would just turn and place your hands towards your wives, your family, and our community. And would you just for 30 seconds boldly just begin to play, pray blessing over our wives, our children, and children's ministry over our city right now. Just bless them. Just bless them. Heather Lynn, I bless you. I bless you to be the warrior, preacher, communicator, leader that you are. I declare right now as you preach this morning, I declare may the spear of the Lord come upon you in strength, power, wisdom, and authority. I thank you for the wisdom of God that's inside of you. I thank you for the revelation of God that's inside of you. And I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. I empower you to preach this gospel. I empower you to lead strong. I empower you to separate the, the, the truth from lies. I pray right now wisdom on you, grace on you, mercy on you, and the power of the Holy Spirit. We bless you, mercy culture. We bless this community. I pray right now the blessing of the Lord is on you. I pray strength. We pray. Come on, men, pray. We pray that your strength would be fortified. We pray dunamis. I pray every woman that's weary, I pray strength come to you right now. I pray right now the blessing of the Lord on your children, on your families. I pray right now in Jesus' mighty name, your beautiful grace. We're going to close like this. Would you just lift your hands to heaven? And would you just pray for the peace of Jerusalem right now? Everyone in this place, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, we love you. So it's our honor to love what you love. And Lord, I never feel like I'm second best. 
I feel like I get to serve you the best by loving your children. I pray right now for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for a hedge of protection over that land. Lord, I pray that our love for you would cause them to be jealous for you. Jesus, I pray for a revival in Israel that they would see who their king is. I pray that you would reveal yourself to your people as your king. Jesus, we love you. Come on, just breathe in the presence of God all over this place. Lord, I thank you for your sweet spirit that's here in this place. Lord, we posture our hearts to receive what you have to tell us today. We love you. We bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, all of God's people said amen and amen. My name is Landon. I'm the senior lead pastor of Mercy Culture. We love God, we love people, we love mercy. Would you love on someone, greet someone as you make your way back to your seats? Thanks for worshiping with us today. If you want to encounter God with us again next week, be sure to hit the subscribe button in the channel to stay in the know. Let's pray the benediction together. Lord, teach us your ways that we may know you and find your favor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.